Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonalia. Welcome to a new vlog. We're in New York City and this is going to be the last New York City vlog because today is our second to last day. So sad about it, but I'm very happy that it's going to be a beautiful, sunny, blue sky day, even though it's going to be, I think, maybe the coldest day that we've experienced here. Um, but we are headed uptown today to meet my friend Laura and Antonio for brunch and then we're just gonna do like a whole uptown day because I don't think we've been there for very long at least. Um, I was hoping I would learn the areas really well by the end of the trip but uh, the end of the trip is pretty much here and I still have no idea where everything is but we haven't been to Central Park so we're definitely going to do that today. It's our last day together. We'll see each other again tomorrow. Or I mean, next year. <laughs> um, we just had breakfast at Green Kitchen on the East Side. And I literally think I had the best French toast of my life because it was chala yeah. bread. So good. And now we're at the Met. We're being our Gossip Girl selves because we're in the Upper East Side today. And we're just going to do a bunch of uptown things. Where are we going next? We're going to Ralph. What's your rating from Ralph's coffee? None. Okay, the matcha was like really <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like so bitter and I asked for extra sweet so it was super bitter and super sweet at the same time and it was just like not good. I literally had to throw it like halfway empty and I usually always finish my matcha so very sad about that. Definitely should have gotten a chai but vibes were cute. And now I'm going to a sports bar. <laughs> we gotta watch our Jags play. Fun fact, I was born in Jacksonville. Were, weren't you? Uh, no, I was born in the Philippines. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, was it Antonio? Yeah. Oh. Duval. So we're gonna, basically me and Laura wanna take a break, yeah. <laughs> just like stop walking. <laughs> so we're like, Antonio, we can just go watch your game if you want. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. They're so cute. I'm in ornament heaven. Was it, is this a cat's? <laughs> Ryan said that we need a Yorkie ornament. Maybe when we have a house, we'll have a whole mini tree just for Yorkie ornaments. <laughs> so we have to get this one. That's cute. I like this one. I like glittery. Okay. <laughs> I think this is so pretty. I picked it up and of course it says made in India. That's like the second time it's happened when we were at H&M &M home. I saw like a really pretty rug and it literally was from India. I think I'm like like nice. subconsciously like just attached to these kind of like in more Indian designs, but I think this is really pretty. I kind of wish it was gold though. Cuz my name means gold. This is the only ornament that I've been like kind of attached to. I think it's just like so stunning. I would be a little scared to travel with it, but guess how much it is? 
It's sixty dollars. Sixty dollars, which I get it, like it's stunning, but still, I cannot justify for one ornament. That's insane. We're deciding between these two. A little bit cheaper. This one's 35. This one is 25. What do you think, Grind? I don't know. I think I like this one. It feels a little bit more. How are we gonna travel with that? Well, it feels a little bit more stable to travel with. Than this one. It feels like it can like crack. Yeah, but that's like the size of like folded up pair of pants like almost. This one is sixty dollars. I don't think you should get a bulb one. We start to travel with your craft No, they're not packaged with These are so cute, but they're so expensive. Like 1500 for one day. These will be in my house. We're back at Lara's apartment. I had to say bye to my my niece. Your granddaughter. My granddaughter. Lara's gonna put her ornaments on the tree. Wait, I don't even that? know what you got. <laughs> I can't remember what you got. Wait, did I already put one somewhere? You're freaking me out. Did you get two? Yeah. Laura. Did Antonio take one? I don't know. Yeah, didn't I literally have one? Am I okay? I literally have one on my hand now. Get a little pouch. No. Am I mentally on Maybe check this? No. Hmm. I'm so confused. Time to pray to St. Anthony. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this one's my little Chanel bag. <gasps> I saw those. Wait. They're so cute. They'll be your one too. Hold on. That's cute. Little handle. Aww. Very cute. Okay. Do I need to take these off though? Probably. The tags? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Where is our um, ornament from college? Oh, or this our little one. guy? <laughs> and Sonali um, painted its face literally gold. <laughs> Why do we do that? Because you loved gold at that time. Oh, yeah. I literally had gold foil, didn't I? Yeah. It was like gold yes. foil or something. And I just wanted to paint everything gold. And he's a little cute little elf. You already have such good ornaments. Where are they all from? Or have you just been collecting over the years or what? Yeah. So cute. Like a lot of them are from Target. Target does a lot oh, of good ones. Yeah. And then this one's like Bergdorf. Mm -hmm. The rest are all Target. Oh, this is this is Bergdorf. This is Macy's. This is like a random NYC like tourist shop. Oh, we, cute. Oh, the um, Christmas tree. Yeah, this That's cute. still has this. Yeah, nice what? <laughs> um, and like the rest, like these are all Target. I love these. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I like that one. Oh, it's so cute. I even know where to put the. Oh, this is also Bergdorf. The little disco. <gasps> I love the disco ball. That was like such a thing last year. So yeah. I it. Well, I feel like it's. It's still, still a thing, yeah. It's still Barbie. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know where to put this. Mm. There's like no space. Mm. How about like here? Yeah. Lady. Maybe not a little more here. Yeah. So cute. We're headed out and we're getting some Thai food. I'm so excited. I was actually kind of craving fried rice and she said they have it there. But also green curry sounds good. <gasps> Tom Ka soup. Have you ever had that? No, what is that? It's like the coconut. Um, I don't soup. think I would like that. I don't really? like coconut and like, yeah, it's really weird. Oh, Ryan doesn't like coconut either. But he likes I the like soup. I like soup. Yeah. Oh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me that much. No, I do. 
I'll see you again soon. Yeah, I love hail. What if I'm like... Was that good? No, that's okay. I'm sad. I never know when someone's actually laughing or crying, so... Yeah, no, same actually. You can't tell, yeah. It's really hard to tell with you. Oh, really? Thanks. Like, on FaceTime, I'm like... I'm like, what's happening here? Are you guys gonna go, like, Levine? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's that way. <laughs> Damn. She's just working the morning snowing. Like, you're good. Yeah, let's go watch, like, White Lotus. White Lotus. And Lady. Yeah, I have to take her out again. <laughs> Make her feel loved after best. ditching her all day. Last day. <laughs> Poor girl. Day, really. Yeah. Today is our last day in New York and I definitely want to go shopping because I feel like there's so many stores in Soho that we didn't do and I'm also not gonna wear as many layers this time because when we went I had so many layers on I was like getting so hot and that did not make me want to try on anything so I didn't really end up getting much and I really want to get a pair of jeans before I leave here. We're going to a rooftop bar tonight. I made these reservations like a couple weeks ago and then I'm with Kase tonight so I'm very excited about that. This morning I'm meeting my friend Mia and I think she's downstairs so I have to go. I'm also returning my fashion pass package today. I'm with Mia. Hi. We just dropped off my FedEx package. <laughs> Got that out of the way and now we're going to Little cupcake bake shop, you can't really see it. What do you get here? I get the vegan chocolate chip cookie. It's the best, I, I'm not a vegan lover, <laughs> and it's the best chocolate chip cookie ever. It's like not too sweet, yeah. you can eat it with a coffee. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> but their cheesecake is also so good. And really everything Ooh. in there is yeah. good, but the vegan chocolate chip cookie for sure. Let's do it. Gingerbread oat milk latte. This place has like every syrup no demand. Yeah. And they always like switch it out for like oh, the cool. um, seasons. seasons. Yeah. yeah. And so I always like come and try a new one. It really is great for my ADHD because <laughs> I can't choose anything because I feel <laughs> I was asking Mia what's the best denim she has. Seven for all mankind. Live and die by it. So everything that they own is stretchy but comfortable and it just fits right. Like I can't explain it. If you have to buy a jean that is like worth the money, because like jeans like go in and out of style so yeah. much. Yeah. Like if you have to buy a jean that's kind of expensive but worth money, seven oh, for all mankind. Yeah, and I'm totally fine with like investing in denim because I wear them yeah. every single day. And you don't have to wash it that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So like it's easy. Right. So we're going here. Other people said made well, but not <laughs> made well maybe for like if you're six foot tall and have no curves so. wait that's honestly yeah, that's right? honestly probably true you have to ask people who have similar body types so you. true so true yeah yeah okay and height yes. height matters more than anything agreed so send me prayers we're going in <laughs> A lot of the stores weren't open, so I didn't get to go into Seven for All Mankind. That means we have to go back to Soho, but I went home for a little bit. Ryan was working, and now we are going to get more food. Also, an update on the cookie. It was actually really freaking good. It was pretty small, not very cheap, but I would get it again, 100%. It was like this banana chocolate chip oatmeal thing. Honestly, I'm gonna look up the recipe when I get home, because they were just like a really good breakfast kind of cookie, you know? Very yum, but I'm ready for a hearty breakfast today. And hopefully it doesn't weigh me down. Cause sometimes like I get in a food coma if I have like a heavy meal, but I need to find me a pair of jeans. So 
we're gonna get them. It's our last day. We have the rooftop reservation at four and it's already like 12. So I feel like we don't have that much time today, which sucks. So there's still so much I wanna do, but I guess that means I just have to come back. We got a French toast with cream cheese and it was really good. Very soft and thick. There was a lot of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to like scrape it off, but then I got the Russo, which honestly I think I fucked up on my order. I think I could have just like customized it. What did you think? I didn't like hers. Mine was about a nine. So it's the French toast. <clears throat> yeah. And you kind of fucked up actually. I know I did. Your bagel's hard, mine was like really soft. Yeah, mine was like an onion bagel. I, I like didn't know which bagel to get. There was just like too many options. There was literally like 100 tubs of different cream cheeses. I've never seen that, I don't think. <laughs> so it was definitely an experience. Tomorrow our flight's at 11.45. So I think we should probably leave our hotel at like 8.30. So maybe we can get up <clears throat> early and get some bagels again. Bagel. And I can do it right. <laughs> So unfortunately, there was no Joe's Jeans store. And I went into Seven for All Mankind, but I really just did not like any of the styles or the colors. So I was very sad. Um, but I did like the material of those jeans. They were pretty stretchy and comfortable, um, but I literally found the perfect pair of jeans on Joe's Jeans site. And I was so excited to go try them on and get them, but there was a storefront like on the maps, but then when I Googled it, it didn't even show up and there was literally no storefront. So I was like very confused, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna order them online and just try them on at home. Cause that looks like the only option, but I just got ready for dinner and drinks. It's our last night. So we're going to um, the newest like cool rooftop here in New York. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's stunning and we haven't been to a rooftop yet. It's gonna be perfect because it's right at four and I think sunsets at 4 30 and then we're gonna make our way over to a restaurant called Moko for some omakase. Right, can you give us a tour of New York? I'll try. Ready? Yes. So that's the Chrysler building back there. Wait, where? From back the little one? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Back there. Chrysler? Yeah. Here. Empire State Building. Nice. It's a uh, Times... really bright thing. <laughs> Times Square. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea, you're over here somewhere back there. Chelsea? I think okay. So. Sorry if I'm shaking, guys. My hand is. Well, I Very my weird. whole body's freezing. <laughs> what are all those buildings over there? Oh, Chelsea? I don't know. Okay, no one no one takes us seriously because we don't really know, but what is down there? Lower Manhattan, I guess. That's Lower like Manhattan. One World Trade Center. Every time I see one of these buildings, I think it's like the Tipton. This rooftop bar is super cool. They have like this outdoor area, I believe on both sides, so you can see like kind of both views. We just got kicked out because you can only get the table for, I believe it was like 90 minutes. Which honestly I thought was gonna be like a really long time, but I I fell asleep, apparently. <laughs> I think that cocktail had something like very calming in it. Like I was like, what? Why do I feel so chill right now? I think the whole day I was just kind of like a little anxious because I was like trying to fit all this stuff in the day, which I feel like we didn't even get through half of what we wanted to do today, but like I said, that means I just have to come back, 
which I'm totally fine with because now I have friends in the city and and there's just always stuff to do I feel like here. I just stepped in dog poop yeah, and my, my new freaking New Balances. <laughs> Love that for me. This is a food vlog, as you can see. And we are gonna get Magnolia Bakery banana pudding. That is like the last on my list, so gotta get it before we leave. So we only took the taxi three times in total this whole trip, and then we were tomorrow, I guess, back to the airport. Yeah. But um, two with Antonio, and I called one today, a little New Yorker moving around. <laughs> and one blew past me. Second try, I got one. I'm really proud of us for taking the subway. Pretty much subway. almost every time, but it's just so nice to have like good pub public transportation. And it's like easily you can follow. You just put it in Google Maps and wow. it literally tells you like where to walk, how long, when the train's coming. Pretty easy to follow. So I called in because you said the So where we are now is the West Village and I was just looking on the map and they have like Carrie Bradshaw's apartment starred on like Apple Maps, which is very interesting. Um, but this is such a vibe. I'm kind of sad that we didn't spend more time out here in the daylight because there's like cute shops around here. Um, and we're Eat eating what? Eat we're just eating our Magnolia Bakery on this bench outside of the store. <laughs> What do we give Magnolia Bakery? That's <laughs> <laughs> how so you eat. I know, that's how I eat. <laughs> Everyone says I look like I'm in pain whenever I take a bite. <laughs> Which is honestly true, I am in pain. <laughs> because I know what's going to happen later. <laughs> and I'm already foreshadowing the pain. Anyways. Farting, farting. <laughs> farting, farting pain. Ryan, what do we give Magnolia Bakery? This is the worst part. Which worst one yet? Really? Yeah. Wait, I'm sad. Well, I'll let you decide that. The cake's really good. Okay. Oh. Ew. What? Ew. No. No, no. What? It's like really not good. The icing tastes really not good. <laughs> no. It's That's not good. One. It's okay. I don't really want it. Did the icing not that I want the cake? I don't want the icing. You said you did. Um. That's like not even cream cheese, right? Yeah, just like the fake icing from like Kroger. Doesn't <laughs> it? No, that Kroger cake that my dad got was really good. I don't want it. It's like a light nesting. That was really not good. Well, that was a disappointment. Also, the banana pudding. We got like a small. Oh, why don't I change the color? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we got a small, and there was just like a lot of wafers in there. I feel like heavy on the wafers, not so heavy on the pudding, you know? And, anyways, no, babe. <laughs> I feel like we tried so many, like, I don't like iconic, iconic <laughs> famous foods on our 
little New York City vacation. And you know what? A lot of them were disappointing, I'm not gonna lie, which was kind of sad. It's the next morning, we are all packed up. Well, I'm not packed up, Ryan's packed up. Um, I'm currently working on it, trying to stuff everything in my little suitcases, but Ryan is out getting us bagels for the last time. I feel like I just had to like redo it. The combination of all the things on a bagel, it just like wasn't the best. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try again today. Our flight is at 11.45, it's currently 8.35, so we're gonna head to the airport pretty soon. Um, but I wanted to end the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed all these New York City vlogs. I love having these memories online and just for me to look back at um, all my travels and honestly my whole life because I film week in my life vlogs in Austin where I live. So if you guys are not already subscribed, definitely do so. And I already made an Instagram highlight of everything we did. So if you guys want even more recs, definitely go check that out. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.